Channel 2 investigates broke the scandal in 2016. A tow company owner with a big city contract to help stranded drivers, helping himself instead, taking thousands of dollars from hardworking Houstonians. Days after our story aired, police moved in, arresting the owner and several employees. So now three years later, this criminal case is finally closed and the punishment handed down. But the story doesn't end here. Consumer expert Amy Davis discovered that business owner has deep city hall connections that never went away. Tonight, she's revealing how the victims will be made whole and what city officials are doing to make things right. In the vast sprawl that is Houston, without a car, you're crippled. I'm the head of my household. I pay all the bills. It kind of put me in a very rough spot. My truck has been here for five months. Why can I not get my vehicle back to me? It's where dozens of drivers found themselves. I was like, what? After their vehicles were towed by USA Auto, owned by Richard Gonzalez. Many tricked into signing documents authorizing thousands of dollars in charges. I literally had people in my office crying. HPD Sergeant Lisa Cruz spearheaded the investigation and this raid of the business that forced city leaders to cancel the company's safe clear contract and ultimately close its doors. That's huge. It sends a statement that we are not going to tolerate this kind of fraudulent behavior. Gonzalez pleaded guilty to that fraud, engaging in organized criminal activity. His employees, Ruben Rendon and Andres Vasquez, went down with him. He trained his employees to trick customers into signing this paperwork. So without that, none of this would have occurred, and he's the only one who financially benefited from it. Well, maybe not the only one. We discovered Gonzalez contributed handsomely, giving more than $35,000 to the campaigns of city council members. All those in favor? before they voted to give him that city contract. Mayor Sylvester Turner, seen here with Gonzalez, received the largest amount, $10,000. Former Mayor Anise Parker got $3,000. Vice Mayor Pro Tem Jerry Davis took three grand, and City Councilman Dwight Boykins got $2,500. So we had to ask. Now that Richard Gonzalez has admitted guilt in engaging in organized criminal activity, will you give the $10,000 that he gave to your campaign back to the victims? I think, you no, know, we're going to give it to a charity. I think we have indicated that to you. But why wouldn't you give it back to the victims he stole it from? I think we're going to give it to a charity. I, I understand. I'm just asking. I, I, you one, not, one question. This is not, please be respectful. I think he should give it back. It's dirty money. It is dirty money. Archie Yancey lost his truck to USA Auto when the company tried to charge him thousands of dollars just to give it back after it was towed from an accident. I knew when, when they had it and weren't going to release it, I said, they, they've already got it cut up. It's why council member Dwight Boykins cut a check for the full amount Gonzalez gave his campaign. I think the right thing to do is to give it back to the people who felt that they were uh, taken advantage of, and that's what we'll be doing. It's an about face for Boykins, who went to bat for the convicted felon in 2015, recommending Gonzalez get the safe clear contract. He has played by the rules. He's uh, made mistakes like everybody else, and he's learned from them. Fast forward three years. Hopefully from this experience, we've learned from our mistakes. About two weeks after he went to jail, Gonzalez's father put this property up for sale. Under the terms of his probation, Gonzalez is not allowed to work in the towing, storage, or auto body industry for five years. People are thinking that's a slap on the wrist. Well, I think what was important to the judge is that all the restitution be paid. But it's money that won't be coming from the campaign contributions Gonzalez gave politicians. After Boykins and Anise Parker agreed to give their contributions back, Chief of Consumer Fraud Valerie Turner discovered accepting the money on behalf of the victims is not allowed by her office. Boykins donated his check to Houston Crime Stoppers instead. Paying back the $159,000 is now all on Gonzalez. He has just five years, the length of his probation, to repay it as part of his sentence. For now, he's in the Harris County Jail serving six months instead of the 10-year prison sentence the prosecutor requested. We had certainly hoped that he would go to prison. Elizabeth Gonzalez Brock didn't want him to go there. She's Gonzalez's sister, a Centerpoint lobbyist and a big supporter of Mayor Turner. Turner recently appointed her to the Houston First Corporation Board of Directors. We found this letter she wrote to the judge determining her 
brother's sentence. Despite his many legal problems, my brother is actually a very kind and loving person, she wrote. Chiming in with her own letter to the judge, Cindy Clifford, who uses her public relations company to support Turner with fundraisers and lunches. Turner appointed her to the Houston Sports Authority Board. Clifford wrote the judge, Richard is a fine person who has contributed greatly to the Houston community. By email, Brock told me she wants it to be clear that she has never represented her brother's business or contract. Clifford said she wrote the letter to the judge strictly as a family friend. We reached out to Jerry Davis about returning the money that Gonzalez gave him. Davis never returned our calls. Amy Davis, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Now, we did hear back from the mayor's campaign before this story aired, and we're told the mayor has also chosen Crime Stoppers as one of the charities to which he'll make a donation from the funds that were given to him by Richard Gonzalez. If you have a story for Channel 2 Investigates, please contact our tip line, 713-223-TIPS, or you can email investigates at kprc.com.